Hello everyone, Only Draven here again, and today we're doing another tutorial in Minecraft Sky Factory 4. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you how to use the Rotary Condensentrator, which is a block from the Mechanism mod, um, and is a pretty helpful component. This video was specifically requested, so thank you to those who put that down in the comments section of other videos. I was happy to put one together. Now if you find this video helpful and you like it, please be sure to click like. Most importantly, please remember to hit that subscribe button so that way you can see all my videos and tutorials as they come out. All right. So, rotary condensentrator. Not too hard to make. Uh, you're going to need four pieces of glass, two basic control circuits, one energy tablet, one basic fluid tank, and one basic gas tank. That's going to give you your rotary condensentrator. So, we've got one of those here. Power. get this put down first and we'll talk about it a little bit so i've got a uh, battery sitting here that was what we're going to use for power you can use any rf power source in the game uh, any of those things will work to run this device so when we click on the rotary condensentrator we're going to see that it has a lot of things in common with other mechanism blocks we've looked at but there is no gui interface that you have to go into to choose which side things go in or out of um, that type of thing menu can be confusing for a lot of folks, but fortunately, this block is much, much easier to use. Um, there are only two ways. Left and the right-hand side, power can go in from the top bottom. Um, so on the left-hand side, the right-hand side, you'll see there are two gauges. So the purpose of the rotary, rotary condensentrator is to turn gases into fluid or fluid into gases. It'll go both ways. And there's several different times in the Sky Factory 4 where that process is going to be needed. Uh, one of the best examples is while making HDPE pellets. That's one of the examples we're going to look at in just a moment. Down here we have our power bar. Here we have a plus and a minus. So if we wanted to, say, take a bucket of whatever we're putting in here, that's an option. It works on the same other side as well. By pressing the toggle operation, you'll see it goes to deconcentrate. Okay? T toggles it back and forth, and the arrow in the middle will be pointing directions. So when it's pointing to the right, that means gas is going to be turned into a fluid. Gas is always on the left, fluid is always on the right. If I want to turn fluid into a gas, I toggle that. Now the fluid that's on the right will be turning into a gas. There. And you can bring fluid or gas fluid would come in from the right side or exit to the right side gas would come in from the left side or exit out okay let's give a cut look at a couple examples of how that would work. a couple easy ones first of all i've got a dense infinite water source and slap that right on me so because i have this at decondensitrating hard word to say water's on the right hand side you can see that it is turning that into water vapor turning water into a gas version and if I want, I can go ahead and toggle operation, and it would take it back. Now, this here is obviously keeping it fluid, so let's do this. Toggle it back out. Pull some of that vapor over. You can see that this is dropping, right? Now it's under 9,800. I toggle it. Now it's going back up again. It's moving the gas, or in this situation, vapor, back over to the water side. So it's as simple as just toggling it back and forth to determining whether you want gas to liquid or liquid to gas. Now, clicking on the arrow will show you different recipes that you can use this machine for. So hydrogen into liquid hydrogen, oxygen into liquid oxygen. When we just looked at water vapor into water. But one of the more common ones I find that you're going to use is going to be um, ethylene. Ethylene is one of the liquid ethylene is one of the components that is needed to make an HDPE pellet. So I have here a creative gas tank of ethylene. Okay, so there's several different ways to get your regular ethylene. If you have questions about that, let me know. I can do a video on that as well. But for this purpose, we're going to say you already have the ethylene in order to show how this machine works. Now, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to slap a uh, basic pressurized tube. So now you can see that the ethylene is being turned into liquid ethylene and would be what you need for HDPE pellets. Now, because this is infinite, I'm going to go ahead and pop that off. And again, I'm going to let that keep rolling off. See, it's here. This number is dropping. It's going into our liquid ethylene, which we would then move into other machines and processes 
make HDPE pellets or whatever else that you need. And again, the same way, if I want to build it opposite, toggle flips it back. Now my liquid ethylene is going down and my regular ethylene. So this machine's purpose again is to turn gases into fluids or fluids into gases. And like I said, there are a lot of different recipes in here. Chlorine, sulfur dioxide, sulfur trioxide, sulfuric acid, hydrogen chloride, uh, the ethylene we just looked at a moment ago, sodium, gaseous brine, deuterium, and we've got tritium, DT fuel, and lithium. So all of those gases can be turned into the fluid version or liquid version of that same material. If you're looking up here on the left, it'll say condensing or decon. It's the exact same thing. All right. So handy little block, uh, much easier to use than some of the other mechanism blocks since you don't have to go in and choose in a menu which side takes things out and exits things and auto eject. It's literally liquids go in or out that side, gas goes in or out that side. That is all there is to it. Pretty easy, something you might find helpful. All right. Well, that is going to do us for this tutorial. Quick one today. Again, I'd like to thank the community for recommending and suggesting that I do this tutorial. Uh, if you have any questions about this tutorial or recommendations of other Sky Factory 4 tutorials you'd like me to see, please put those down in the comments. I'm always looking for new ideas. This is a great example of me getting one from the community and being able to put it out there. Um, of course, you can also come to any of my live streams. I stream Monday, Sundays and Monday nights, YouTube. Uh, I'm also over on Twitch. Uh, where it's at only Draven Gaming, no underscore, no space, all one word. Feel free to jump in any of my streams. You got questions about Minecraft or any other game? I'm happy to help out if I can. But that is going to do us for today. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great day.